Hi guys, I'm going to be doing a new series on my channel and it's going to be focusing on male icons, male heartthrobs through history. I already do a series on my channel, the History of series, where I focus on beauty icons through history. So I wanted to do a series where I focus on famous male people throughout history. As I am focusing a lot on the 1920s recently on my channel, I decided to start with a very famous heartthrob from the 1920s, Rudolf Valentino. Rudolf Valentino was born on the 6th of May 1895 in Castellaneta, Italy. His father was Italian and his mother was French. Valentino's father passed away when he was 11. Even as a child, Valentino was getting attention for his good looks, and his mother spoiled him because of it. At the age of 18, Valentino went to the US. Perhaps because of his spoilt upbringing, Valentino couldn't keep a job, being fired for not working properly. Because of this, for some time, Valentino was homeless. Eventually, Valentino found work as a taxi dancer, which is someone who is hired to dance with their customers. Valentino met Blanca de Souls, wife of the football player John de Souls, and when Blanca wanted a divorce, Valentino helped by testifying at their divorce trial. Valentino was now involved in a scandal. Not long after the divorce, Blanca fatally shot her ex-husband during a custody dispute over their son. Valentino then left town to get away from it all. Valentino soon met actor Norman Kerry, who convinced him to try acting. The two moved to LA and Valentino continued dancing and teaching dance, gaining a lot of female attention. Valentino soon landed roles in Hollywood, but he wasn't very happy with the roles he was given, typically being cast as a heavy, a villain or gangster. But in 1919, Valentino starred in the film Eyes of Youth, and he caught the eye of screenwriter June Mathis, who wanted him in her next film. He was cast in the 1921 film The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, which became a commercial and critical success. Valentino was now a star, but despite his success, Metro Pictures, the company he was under, wouldn't give him a raise and gave him smaller roles, so Valentino soon left the company. He then joined the company Famous Players Lasky, and starred in the 1921 film The Sheik, which was a major success. Valentino became an icon. Men would imitate him and women wanted to be with him. In 1922, Valentino starred in another June Mathis film, Blood and Sand. Blood and Sand became one of the four top grosser movies of 1922. After the film, Valentino married American film costume designer Natasha Rambova. Natasha was Valentino's second wife. His first was Jean Acker but they married not long after meeting and separated on their wedding night. Valentino's marriage with Natasha only lasted two years. People found Natasha too controlling and blamed her for Valentino's film failures. So Valentino was forced to sign a contract that Natasha had no negotiating power and was disallowed from even visiting the sets of his films. This caused a strain in their relationship. In August 1926, Valentino suddenly collapsed at the Hotel Ambassador in New York and was rushed to hospital. He was diagnosed with appendicitis and gastric ulcers and went into surgery. After the surgery, Valentino developed infections and complications, in particular a fatal case of pleurisy in his left lung. The doctors never informed Valentino, letting him believe he was going to recover. On the 23rd of August, he went into a coma and didn't wake up. He was only 31 years old. His death caused mass hysteria, unlike anything Hollywood had ever seen. An estimated 100,000 people lined the streets to pay their respects at his funeral, and there were reports of suicides at the news of Valentino's death. Rudolf Valentino was a sex symbol of the 1920s and became a cultural film icon known as the Latin lover. He is quoted as saying, Women are not in love with me, but with the picture of me on the screen. I am merely a canvas upon which for women paint their dreams. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.